On January 28, 1986, approximately 2.5 million American school children had their eyes glued to their TVs, excited to watch an American classroom teacher enter space for the first time on the Challenger Space Shuttle. 73 seconds later, the live event brought trauma into the classroom as all of these children witnessed as the shuttle blew up. Millions of Americans were asking the same question, why did the Challenger explode? NASA's official statement was that the key issue was the O-ring seal, which was eroded due to rain and cold temperatures. It allowed hot gas to escape and ignite the fuel tank. This was only a small piece of the puzzle, though. The investigation revealed that management knew about the risks of launching, but chose not to replace the O-rings to avoid delays. With the launch being so highly anticipated on television, all of the pressure within the shuttle program was towards hitting deadlines instead of sticking to protocols. Engineers' concerns about launching in such unfavorable conditions fell under the radar or were outright dismissed. Quotas were rewarded over compliance, so excellence was sacrificed for long, sleepless work weeks and gradual deviations in the safety protocols. It's critical to find the root causes of safety issues before they lead to traumatic events. Learn to improve the safety culture at your workplace at www.taproot.com.